runners are going to stay in with two strikes. Hunt is off and it's hit over the bag. That's a fair ball down the line and the Mets will win the game. Beatty comes in with the winning run. Luis Quirome couldn't get the bunt down, but he gets the base hit to bring in the winner at the bottom of the 10th. And the Mets win the game 2-1 to one to put an end to this dastardly four-game losing streak. I mean, how many times have you seen a hitter not able to get the bunt down, stays in it, and just tries to put it in play? And Guillaume gets himself a base hit winner. Really questionable by Dave Roberts keeping the corners in with yeah. two strikes against Guillaume, which gave him the opening to hit that ball past Freeman and down the line. Yeah, pretty simple out if they're back, but uh, Guillaume was sent up there to bunt, and maybe they thought he was straight bunt. The entire at bat. First career walk off RBI for Luis Guillorme. And the Mets get their first win since the All Star break as they squeak one out in 10. Well, he got angry after the ball was inside. He was trying to roll that ball over to the right side, at least get the runner over. And he catches fair territory down the line. Freeman helpless. Luis Guillorme with an RBI single in the bottom of the tent to make the Mets a winner. And get them back within seven games of 500. Let's go downstairs to Steve Gelb. Steve? All right, Gary, thanks a lot. Luis, happiest you've ever been to not get the bunt down? Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> no, it worked out. After you fall behind 0-2 there, how quickly does your mind shift? What are you trying to do in that moment? I mean, really all I was trying to do is exactly what I did, pull the ball on the ground and, you know, get the guy over. Did you see that Dave Roberts had left the corner infielders in and were you trying to sneak it past Freeman at first at all? I saw him. That was, that was another reason why I tried to just hit it on the ground at second, just pulled it a little more than I wanted. All right, Luis, I know you were a pinch hitter in that spot, but what did you make just from watching what Max Scherzer and David Robertson were able to give you guys on the mound today? No, you know, it was great. They, they kept us in the game and gave us a chance. All right, Luis, congratulations on the big hit. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. All right, Gary, back to you. First career walk-off hit for Luis Guillorme. It's an all-Robertson winner and loser. David gets the win with two scoreless innings. Nick on his birthday takes the loss. Game summary brought to you by Alexis. Max Scherzer was magnificent, and the Mets pull one out in 10, 2-1. to one. We'll be back with you on SNY Tuesday night when the Mets open their series with the White Sox. Carlos Carrasco coming off a brilliant start his last time out against Lucas Giolito. 6.30 the coverage Tuesday night on SNY. Our next picks telecast will be next Saturday from Fenway Park. Coverage begins at 3.30 on Picks 11. Coming up on Picks 11, it's The Chosen. And on SNY, it's Points Bed Post Game Live. Mets snap their losing streak with a 2-1 to one win in 10. Now for Ron Darling, Steve Gelbs, and our entire crew, I'm Gary Cohen at City Field. We'll see you Tuesday night over on SNY. Corner's still in. Chopper, fair, ball game. Luis Guillaume with a pinch hit, base hit to score Brett Beatty and snap the Mets four game losing streak. They salvage one in this three game series. Two to one the final in ten innings. The Mets finally get a hit with runners in scoring position. The Dodger bullpen finally gives up a scratch run with the free runner at second. They would have had a runner on second and no out with this double down the line but instead this one down the line ends the game. A good start for the Dodgers at the beginning of this road trip. Almost a sweep. It took extra innings for the Mets to beat them. And so it's on to Baltimore to take on the Red Hot Orioles. For Hershiser, Kirsten Watson, and the rest of our crew, Joe Davis saying so long from New York. The Mets win it in 10, improve their record at extra innings to 6 and 1 on the year. Stay tuned for Access Sportsnet Dodgers, and we'll talk to you tomorrow from Baltimore. No balls and two strikes. Pitch. 
Swing a ground ball, hit towards first, it's fair, it's rolling down the right field line. Beatty's around third, he will score. A pinch hit, walk-off single for Luis Guillorme in the bottom of the 10th inning. And the Mets win 2-1 to one and salvage the final game of the series. And they mob Guillorme out at second base. The fourth walk-off win this year for the Mets. Daniel Vogelback has the Gatorade bucket. Guillorme's being held down. They douse him in between first and second, and the Mets win 2-1. to one. Well, he didn't quite get those bunts down, but that'll play a little single that's tucked in between the chalk and the line, and Luis Guillorme was... He was dry all day until the very last second of this game. He is walking off the field soaking wet with a well-deserved bat from his teammates. First career walk-off hit for Luis Guillorme. And the Mets take the finale. We'll talk about it on the other side. 2-1 to one, the final score of the Mets and Extras on the WCBS Mets Radio Network, driven by your tri Honda dealers. Let's go, Mets! Plate inside would have been ball one. Our infielders are still in with two strikes. And the pitch swung on a ground ball. That's fair inside of first. And the Mets are going to win it. Beatty comes across. A pinch hit walk-off single in extra innings for Luis Guillorme. On the third pitch he sees. And the Mets salvage a game and avoid a sweep of the series. The Mets, who have had a disastrous season, Somehow, some way, find a way to beat the Dodgers here tonight at City Field. David Robertson will get the win. Two innings for Robertson in relief. Buck Showalter didn't want to go to the rest of his bullpen. He stayed with his veteran closer for another inning, and it ended up paying off as the Dodgers couldn't get James Outman in. Final totals in the ball game for the Mets: two runs, six hits, no errors, and seven left. For the Dodgers, one run, four hits, no errors, and seven men left on base. David Robertson, the win, four and two, his record. Nick Robertson, the loss, 0-1 for him, his first major league decision. It's on the negative side.